Welcome to the Freedom Property Podcast, the modern real estate brand empowering excellence. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back in the studio, and today we have got arguably the Gold Coast's number one agent right now, mate. Too kind, mate. Thank um, you. Mr. Brad Wilson in the building, all the way from Ray White, Upper Coomera. Yep, that's right. Nice, bro. Nice. Thanks, Thanks for Thanks coming for in. Me. Yeah, it's exciting. It's legendary. <laughs> so, for the audience who may not know you, uh, I want to give you a quick overview on Brad's business right now. So in the last 12 months, Brad has sold 113 properties with an average days of market of 20 um, and a median sale price of 836,000. Yep. So there your real estate.com stats. Cool. Anyway. So Good. probably even better on rate my agent or something, yep. I imagine. Yep. Yeah. So mate, what a business you've got running at the moment. Yeah. It's um look, it's took a lot to get here, but yep. um, but yeah, we're all dedicated. We're all um a young team and yeah. yeah, love what we do. So, yeah. So you say we're we're a young team. Talk yep. to me about yep. that. I've got a team of six now. Okay. So um, in my personal hub. Wow. Um, so I'll do the listing and selling, yep. and um, a lot of the vendor communication as well. Um, in my team, I've got the two buyer managers. I've got an associate and some admin as well. So two admin, um, stock in, stock out. So we're really driven process. Awesome. But um, but yeah, we you know we we love what we do and um, we're all in it together and yep. you know, here to kick big goals. Awesome, mate. Awesome. Yeah. How long have you been in sales? Um, almost or coming up to seven years now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like your business over the last couple of years has exploded. Yeah. Yeah. That was, I think anyone really is, you know, three, four years off, yeah. you know, really put in the hard work while you're just learning and getting, you know, kind of a good bit of the industry, yeah. um, from seeing that explosion. That mm -hmm. was definitely it. I mean, um, this COVID period, we, you know, I think a lot of people held back on the investment. I did the opposite yeah. and invested a lot into it. And um, from there, we just saw growth every year. So every year uh, for us, GCI has just grown every single year. So definitely, yeah, definitely. And I've been watching your business, mate. It's um, it's it's awesome to watch. It's uh, feels like to me like you sort of came out from nowhere, and now you just yeah. like, bang, you're everywhere. Because yeah. I'm always looking at um, new properties coming on in the Gold Coast, yeah. and sometimes yeah. I see like you've like listed like seven, eight properties, you know, in like a day or whatever. And I'm yeah. just like, holy hell. Yeah. This guy's smashing it. Try to smash it on the one day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, mate. That's cool. awesome. You said before um, that you didn't hold back in COVID and you uh, invested in yep. yourself yep. and in your business. Yep. Can we talk about that? Yeah. Look, we've got um, a really good setup at our office. Um, our principal backed me and, um, and we pretty much looked to invest. I mean, a lot of people really just tried to, I like hold back, especially unknown certain times. Yeah. I first started, um, that first investment was probably a little bit easier because it was my partner at the time and she still is. Yeah. Um, and that was the first kind of admin side. But from there, it's just been adding and adding more people on yeah. uh, marketing as well. Big investments in our area for sure. So you're investing in the people, obviously, to free yeah. up your time to do what you need to do yeah. best. Yeah, um, absolutely. Talk about that a lot on this show. And um, you're investing a lot into marketing yourself? Yeah, yeah. So definitely in our core area. Um, but yeah, thousands in marketing. Definitely, it's a lot. <laughs> Look, yeah, this what this show is all about is about trying to help these youngsters out yep. there because yep. a lot of them watching this show, they're you know they're getting it, they're getting the role going. You know, it's just yep. but like with to take it to the next level. Yeah, you know, and you would yep. have been there. Yeah, so absolutely. Let's talk about your core area. Yep, yep. So what are you doing in your core area right now to get noticed? Look, it's just everything we're trying to do. You know, your letterbox drops, obviously your calling, door knocks. Um, with like social media, everything. We're just trying to, you know, really do everything possible. A yep. um, lot of letterbox drops, a lot of letters going out to the area. Um, again, a lot of calls. We've got a really strong database that we've built. Yep. Um, so everyone in our area will try to touch base with every three to six months. Yep. Um, just to try to get a bit of an update on where they're at. Yep. But um, really just try to be that go-to name. That's all. It's just, just yep. again, the name Brad Wilson, Brad Wilson there. Um, they know the brand uh, in our in our area. Again, they're seeing the, the sales, seeing the results. So, again, yep. just being that trustworthy person. Definitely. So, you say like you're in the letterboxes with like yep. what, just listers, just solds? Yep, yep, absolutely. Yep, yep. and then letters, um, what kind of letters are you doing? Um, look, a mixture of, yeah, just listed, just solds, a lot of um, data, um, like incentives as well. So, we'll try to... Um, do giveaways to the area. We just did a six thousand dollar giveaway. So um, to our area, one in my pocket did win this one. So they were, they were really happy. It was good. They you know six k is a lot for yep. a lot, and these Absolutely. guys loved it. So yep. um, yeah, like again, a lot of giveaways. 
Um, again, it's not, there's no magic ball that I don't think. It's just doing a lot more yeah. and of the stuff that we all know what to do. Definitely. And that's that's really it. You know, none of my marketing's groundbreaking. Yeah. Um, we've got a good marketing team and what I want, they'll produce. But, um, you know, none of it is groundbreaking. Like, it's all the same stuff, you know, just yeah. solve this. Every property's got a story. Yep. Really try to highlight that story and why it was such a good result for awesome. our sellers. You know, you rate my agent's a big one, your reviews. Um, you want to showcase that, you're trustworthy, you know, yep. your area, frequency, that all builds trust. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, like so many agents, they feel like they have to do things so much different. Hey, you no, know, like they're no. trying to reinvent the wheel or whatever. It's like yeah. you just got to take all these things that everyone's doing really yeah. well, yeah. put your own little spin on them yeah, and just for sure. double down and just yeah. be really consistent. I think that's just it. And especially going that next step as well, we look at the people right at the top of the industry. Um, they're doing the same stuff we are, yeah. but it's just doing it more than us. And that's that's it. And that's why I've just put on six person, trying to double down and everything just to try and get that, that next yeah. step going. So, yeah. So, you like, there's a bit of pressure there for you. Obviously, yep. you're the you're the main man. You're paying everyone's wages. Yep. So, yep. you know, like, how does that feel, you know, when you're trying to, like, what do you like during the day? You're really on to these people? Like, are you, uh, what kind of a boss? Yeah, we can't, um, we can't, we can't micromanage. Um, you know, we've all got, we're all accountable. And um, we've got a really good accountability system that we've introduced this financial year. Yep. Um, and it just, you know, for them, buy managers, how the associate gets paid, they're all, you know, different um, goals on what they're trying to achieve. Yep. But um, look, I'm, I'm accountable as well. If I don't list a certain amount of properties a month, then I'm the one that's in the in the red here. And I'm, Absolutely. To, I'm not pulling my weight in the team. Yep. If they're out helping, they're getting a certain amount of people through properties. If they're getting a certain amount of bidders at auction, offers before auction, they're doing their job. If I'm not doing my job, then it's my problem. So, yep. you know, I'm the one that needs to, to you know, pull my finger out. Nice. Um, but, you know, everyone's got accountabilities. I think we've got a really strong team. We're all dedicated. Um, you know, we all love what we do. And um, and we've all got a we've all got a laneway in the business. So, we're not crossing over. Yeah. Um, we've got, I think we've got a sweet spot, which is good. So, where are predominantly most of your listings coming from? Um, look, a lot of it is like you'll get the the audit referral come in. Um, you know, your rate my agent, your your real estate dot com. Yeah. But um, you know, really a lot of it is past data and yep. um and look, you know, a lot of call ins too from yep, I've been getting your letters, I've been you've been on my fridge for four years with a fridge magnet, you yep. know, and look, we're ready to go now. Um, yeah, a lot of that just is, you know, it, it's just again trying to get call ins from every possible direction. That's yep. all. So and, you've been um, working the same patch for yep. the last few years? Yeah. Expanded yeah. a little bit. Yeah. But um, yeah, same patch and it's grown a little bit in the suburb. Yeah. So how many homes is that? I think just around just over three thousand. Okay. Yeah, yeah, around that three thousand mark. Yep. So yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, no, that's a good that's a good little patch there. Yeah. That's a big patch. Yeah. 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 So it started just a thousand. Um and um and yeah, we've just in increased. Um yeah, we started one area and as a team growing over COVID, shift, you know, within the office, more yep. more availability was there. So, we put my hand up and, and we've got it. So, nice. And your office is that close to the, that? Yeah, that in, in, the, in the suburb. Oh, is yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Nice. So, um, yeah. So, basically what I'm hearing from you at the moment is yep. that you're probably not scared to take a few risks. Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You're 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 committed. Yeah. Um, you're you're going for this. You're thinking bigger picture. Yeah. Um, what is your goal? Like, what are you trying to achieve? We want to be number one in the state for Ray, Ray White. Definitely. Yeah, that's it. So there's a few really good performers at the top of the, the yeah. food chain. Um, this year really, you know, explored, and I'm happy to put that out there. I want to be accountable for it. You know, yeah. we've got all big goals in the team. We want Seriously. to hit it. So um, so yeah, we want to be number one in the state, hundred awesome, percent. And um. You know, we've got goals to to just again. We we know what to do. You know, yep. I think you get to a certain level, you know how to list and sell. Yep. It's just doing it more. It's just yep. volume. That's all. So take that 120, 125 this year. Put it to one hundred and eighty. That's that's the aim. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah. No, you can do it. You can do We're it. Definitely going to try, mate. <laughs> yeah. We got the team. You know, and obviously yeah. keeping that structure of you know what everyone does each day and keeping everybody accountable. Yeah. And yeah. You know, again, be not scared to spend that money on yourself yeah. and doubling yeah. down. Like, yeah. yeah. It's just, and then it's a time game, really, really, yeah. good, isn't it? You know, like you do this well enough for long enough. Yeah. More people start to know you. Yeah. More exactly. referrals you get. Anyone's only three, you know, three or four years away from them being anywhere. Like yeah. I wasn't anything special. Yep. Like I just worked harder than anyone. Definitely. And if you can do that in any area, you'll yeah. get a name for yourself. But I think they're just not, people just won't give it the time. Yeah. And um, if they don't give it the time, they won't invest it in themselves as well. Yeah. And that's where you just won't see them succeed. When you, um, when you were getting started, obviously when you were doing everything yourself, like yep. what was your... 
what was the difference with you? Like, were you a big cold cooler, door knocker? Like, what was your, where were you, where were you shining? Where were you, at? where were you beating all the agents? Um, look, I was the youngest in the area and still pretty much am. Yeah. Um, so just a newbie on the block. Um, again, I just, I just worked harder. So more hours of just doing everything really. I did a lot of calls, um, you know, a lot of data, like I understood, you know, the reason for data in the area to try yep. and build a database. So, um, you know, my, my principal would just say, look, go out, you know, I remember putting these, um, I had all these old business cards. So my area at the time was a thousand homes. Um, and I got a new photo. So I looked about 12 in that first photo and yeah. then I looked about 14 in the next one, but the 12 year old photo, I put it out to the whole, um, area and I just put, you know, um, call me back your house ASAP, you know, yeah. and the amount of calls, it's just little stuff like that. You know, just try to build data. Yeah. Um, you know, we'd get data, build that area, be the trustworthy person, try to let everyone know when there's a good result. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it was hard, obviously as your single agents, anyone out there would, you know, try, would struggle. You'd see him go up for a month and you'd see him sell five or six or list five or six and then not list anything the next month. Yeah. I just try to keep it consistent as possible. That's it. So yep. it was just a slow kind of um, growth. And when it got too much to deal with, that's when we took the invest and took the, you know, the chance to put someone on. Definitely. Um, and then from there, it, you know, just kept going and going and going and going for where we are today. Nice, mate. Nice. What does your balance look like? Are you working? How, what do your days look like at the moment? Yeah, look, it, it has been crazier, no yep. doubt. You know, I, I still look, we still trying to work on that but um myself and my partner um you know we'll, we'll work side by side you know we're working very late like um i think tuesday night um our other admin as well michelle um, we're all doing our vendor reports at, like between 10 to 12 o'clock at night like we're yeah. all working on that so yeah. sometimes during the day you know just to try and get everything done because yeah. you know we can't just backlog we can't just not do it we've got to provide a service yeah um so there are some days it is just you know, 12, 13, 14 hour days. Yeah. Um, but, you know, your Thursdays, Fridays, I think, um, you know, they're, they're more, more your relaxed days we've found in the business, yep. more appointments you can do. Um, you know, where we're usually at the office, um, eight, kind of nine-ish all the way to, you know, that, that kind of five, six, depending on open homes and everything yep. and phone never shuts off. So, Seriously. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. We're sending texts to our vendors, you know, 10 o'clock at night, nine o'clock at night, recapping everything, the team's, sending their update seven o'clock, you yeah. know, we're all, we're all working. That's awesome, mate. That's awesome. So you, um, you're a big auction man. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Love the process. And I was the person that hated auctions before. <laughs> yeah. Well, like uh, you always hear it, you know, auctions don't work in my area. Yeah. Or, I was that you know. guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was definitely that guy, but, um, and look, it took a few auctions to get the process, you yeah. know, you got to understand, you know, why we're doing it yeah. and, um, to give the owner uh, a chance to sell with competition. That's yeah. it. You know, I think every other offer method, and that's what I believe in in the area. Yep. There's so many buyers out there that just aren't given that chance. Yep. In our area, I'd say 18 months ago, no one did auctions. Yep. The only auctions before that was mortgagees before the COVID kind of era. And, yep. you know, those ones would probably sell very cheap yep. because, you know, the people, buyers weren't educated in that type of selling and buying environment. Yep. Um, but, yeah, big auctions at the moment. Um trying to push everything auction. Yep. Um, I just sold, I've sold two of my places via auction yep. in the last um, 12, 18 months. So I fully understand that and, and believe in it as a seller to yep. try and get the highest possible price. Yep. And um, and we'll put that to the seller, to any prospective vendor out there that look, yep. this is your opportunity. You know, we're averaging between, I'd say three to eight bidders per auction. So average around five, but- um, That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we really try to, you know, we want to showcase the best in the market. But at, at the start of it, um, you know, we did, um, there was probably 50-50 auctions versus private treaty. Yep. Um, trying to get a lot of private treaty buyers, trying to convert them to an auction buyer. You know, our area was a big, big slog to trying to get yeah. you know, the amount of people to our market to be ready for auctions. But Definitely. now, oh, I don't know the exact stat, but it feels like, you know, in our postcode uh, between other agents in our offices doing different auctions, um, you know, probably 50% auctions, I think, maybe 40, 50%. You know, It'd be beautiful, you know, wouldn't it? If, you know, like every <laughs> listing was an auction that yeah. everybody took on, like not yeah. just you, but like every all you, even your competition, you know, like yeah. it would just be, it'd just be awesome just it to would. get the buyers into that habit of, yeah. uh, you know, that's the day you buy the properties, Yeah, you know, you might get lucky if the no yeah. one else turns up, um, but you just pay a fair price if not. That's it. You know? Yeah. It's the most transparent bidding an offer situation you can be in. As a seller, Seriously. you can, you know, you sell with buyers bidding against each other, 
with a buyer, you've got transparency. You know, it's not, oh, you know, Josh, you said um, you've got to put in your best and final offer. Someone's come in 10 grand over, I'm, I'm pissed off at you, you know. I'll uh, see it sold on realestate.com for an extra two or three grand. Oh, it went that. Why didn't you tell me? Like, exactly. We can't do it. Yeah. You know, we can't do it. So, yeah. you know, your auction and for a seller, you know, getting those people bid for the extra $500. You know, yeah. you're doing everything you can, yeah. which is from there when they know you're doing everything you can, you'll get the reviews. Nice, nice. And you're in room auction guy? Uh, online. Online. So, yeah, we don't, um, sellers and buyers, everyone's online. Yeah, well. So, um, so yeah, we've changed the game kind of a little bit between our principal, a couple other agents that are, you know, in the office. Um, I was probably the second one on board to, to jump on it yeah. um, in, in our office, but um, we only did the online because of COVID. Yeah. And that was um, lockdowns and everything like that. Um, but we've just loved the online process ever since, um, yeah. you know, anyone around the world can attend. I've had people overseas buy properties. Bidding in an environment where it's super easy, they click on a link, yeah. they're on the phone because um, they're watching online and they're and they're bidding over the phone as well. Yeah, nice. So um, so yeah, it's it's like they're there wherever they are. I've had people on cruise ships sell properties. I've had people overseas. You know, people in America. I had one vendor that was I think three o'clock in the morning for them, but five thirty Tuesday night for us. Um, and and they they woke up, sold their house over reserve. They were stoked, done. They had a great day. <laughs> Absolutely, no, so they brilliant. can attend anywhere. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, I haven't really tried online auctions to be honest. Yeah. I, I love the the environment of yeah. like a, an in room auction. Yeah, yeah, and having like multiple properties sell under the hammer with all the buyers and sellers there. And yeah, I yeah. just like I like that. I like creating the crowd and yeah. and just yeah. having you know people know once a month they could turn up to that room and see what the market's doing. Yeah, you know we've got um. So I guess it takes a lot in every auction event on the twenty fifth of this month. I think I've got. I think there's between eight or ten of my own auctions on the one night. Wow. Um, so on that day, every one of our sellers or potential sellers or even just homeowners in the area, like we'll send a link out to them so they can watch. Yep. So we still get a big audience. Yeah. Um, hundreds of, of viewers every auction event. You know, sometimes our big auctions last week, um, sorry, last month um, had a big one with our um, some of the Brisbane offices did a big online auction event. I think there was like 40 auctions, a couple thousand viewers. Um, you know, I go into appointments and, and without even pitching auction, yep, I joined last week and I watched the auctions. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just good to see they're watching and they get a feel for what the market's looking like and, yeah. you know, they love the the actual process. They love the auctioneers. I think, yeah. you know, they're, they're magic and our one definitely is. Yeah. Gab's awesome. Um, but, you know, that they, they love that process, love to watch it and I've had people say, look, it's better than watching a current affair. Yeah. Um, they can they can yeah. tune in Tuesday yeah. night and they can um, watch what properties are selling for in here. So good, mate. So good. No, I love it. The um, when you're going up against um, other agents at your listing presentations, yep. uh, are you usually the only one that pushes auction? Do you feel or? Um, yes and no. Um, there's probably one or two other ones out there that'll push auctions. Yep. But um, everyone else would be just your private sale and bag yep. bag auctions, hundred percent. Oh my god, the auction presentation for me is like an absolute no-brainer. Yeah, like yeah. going up against someone that bags auctions, it's just like they they yeah. make themselves look silly, you know. Yeah. Like they'll bag it and not understand it, not even that's right. Auction, you yeah, know? and it takes a while to get to know it. Look, I see pros and cons for both methods of sale. Yep. Um, we've took the direction as a seller myself very recently to to run an auction uh, for my own properties. You know, I fully believe in that being the best way possible yeah. for our sellers. Um, and look, if you're not keen on doing that way, we'll always look at different methods. We won't just not list the property. Yeah. Um, but you know, people that that won't understand the process and won't give it a go. You know, it is. You know, it, it is a shame for the seller because yeah. you know we've got to give. We're advisors in this in this in this role. Absolutely. We've got to try and you know really push the highest and best possible sale price for it. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Every seller is different. Every situation yeah. is different. Every property is different. But I yeah. feel like if you're getting five to eight bidders on average, yeah, on every yeah. property, that to me is an absolute no-brainer yeah. to take it to auction. For sure. Find the cleanest possible deal for you. Unconditional. It's not monkey around. Yeah. Yeah. And the amount of conditional contracts that have fallen over. Yeah. Like recently, it's just ridiculous. Subject to sales, building pairs, finance, especially. Seriously. But yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. just the way moving forward. We can entertain them in uh, the week after the auction, but. <laughs> Beforehand, let's get a nice clean for sure deal, eh? Absolutely. So, um, obviously, like I said at the start, there's a um, there's a lot of more younger up and coming agents yep. watching this show. So, you know, what what would you advise them to do? You know, like say they're probably selling like five to ten houses a year at the moment, and they're just they're in just a bit of a rut. You know, like, yep. like where would you focus if you were to start again? Like, what would you do? They've got to be comfortable with re with rejection. I was that guy in the area, young, in you know, trying to break into a market where there was already established agents. Yeah. So you know, it was it was hard. 
Yeah. But um, it's just knowing that you're working harder than anyone else. Nice. You know, that that's really it. Yep. You know, once you've got, once you have done and, and sold a, you know, a fair few properties, you, you know, even if it's not to a high volume, you know, yep. you've sold your first 10 or 20, it, it really, you know, th- th- you've, you've learned a lot. There's not much more, you know, to that. You'll learn different experiences, different yep. ways, but, you know, it's just, it's just doing more of what everyone else isn't doing. That's all. I think that confidence comes from your habits, you know. Yeah. Like, and if, like you say, if you are knowing that you're making more calls yeah. every day and you're making, you know, putting in the time and the energy and you're really working on everything in your business, you yeah. can really look someone in the eye and yeah. feel confident about, like, I'm the Be, right person for you. You can, you know? as long as you're providing value for the seller, 100%. Absolutely. And that was my value add. I worked harder than anyone. I did, I was the first one in the area to do Sunday open homes. No one did them. We did, you know, we, we were working every day. Yeah. And um, that was just myself just trying to break into the area. Yep. And um, and from there again, you know, vendors did see that. And yep. um, and, and slowly, you know, it's not going to just take off overnight. Yeah. Like it's, it's you're a good three, you know, two, three, four years to yep. try and establish yourself in an area. Yeah. And then from there, then, you, you know, you really gain that, that serious momentum. And do you think um, like dominating a suburb or type of property is the way to go or? Um, I think the way your real estate.com, you know, um, rate my agents all set up is probably suburb based. Um, but ours, like my suburb, Upper Coomera, um, they'll range between, you know, 500k townhouses all the way up to 1.5, sometimes pushing $2 million acreage. Yep. So, um, so look, it's a, a broad, you yep. know, very broad type of market, but um, we'll do all that. I won't just do, you know, acreage, yep. I won't just do townhouses. You know, medians at about eight thirty or whatever it was. Yep. So you're in the middle. Yep. So you'll get some that go a little bit higher. Hey. Sorry, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. Look, I think um, you know, numbers and, and volume in the area. Yeah. Being known, more signboards. Yeah. That, like I think it's suburb, hundred percent. Absolutely. No, bro. It's um, you got a you got the Tesla vibe going about. Oh no, not um, not quite. He's unreal operator. Yeah, we got the same energy, you know, like you've got your team right yeah. now, you you know, you're obviously putting in the yards. So yeah. yeah, I think you will be tough to beat on the on the coast, especially obviously around that location that yeah. you're in right now. So like you're doing everything right with the auctions and yeah. you know, what's next? Um, look, just keep pushing ahead. We just want to be want to be number one. That's yeah. it. That's um that's all it is. Um help grow my team. Um I've got a bit of a development program in my team. To, to help them. So if they're with me for three years, they can learn kind of the program on, on the, the stock out versus the stock in. So yep. they'll get their time to, to learn all that nice. um, and the trade for it also to help them set up. Um, obviously for us personal, you know, we want to, we, we've got goals, but um, business definitely, you know, we, we want to keep growing and get better and better and better. Um, network to as many people as possible um, and yeah, help develop the team 100%. Yeah, well, seven years in the game, bro. When you get to like 10 years in, I reckon it's going to be very, very tough to beat you. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I really Thanks. appreciate you coming in today. And maybe in a couple of years' time, we could do this again. Yeah, yeah. Just see where you're at. But Absolutely. Yeah, no, I really appreciate you coming in and having a chat to us today. No stress at all. Love it. Thanks, Thank mate. Appreciate awesome. It. Cheers. <laughs>